Hello from the radical left. I'm Jim N4BFR, your data dad with today's COVID-19 update. Today is Wednesday. That's August 19th, 2020. And we had uh, a lot of tweets and reports from the governor today, and I'll let you catch up on them on your own. But uh, safe to say, if you don't support what he's doing, you're either part of the radical left or in the media. So... There you go. You can make your own choices on where you fall on the governor's list. Let's get into the update for today. Uh, we had a very low testing day, only 15,000. That's, um, you know, you got to go back a ways to find a day. I think July 4th uh, was a lower testing day, and that's because it was a holiday. So um, that's really interesting. And, you know, we've seen these lower days the last few days now. The question has been, is this a leading indicator because there's going to be fewer cases? Or is this testing burnout or lower availability of testing? And it's probably a mix of all three. Uh, what I do like to uh, say, though, is when you see a positive rate of 15% and you had been running at a positive rate of 10% plus, um... 10% or so, you kind of know that it's uh, some of it is lower testing than we should be having. Uh, and we've seen a little lift on that uh, average um, positive tests a day number now over the last week or so. So it uh, feels like uh, we're not testing as much as we could. Net increase in cases was 2305. Uh, that's what the math says when you take Today's ending number of cases versus yesterday's ending number of cases, you get 2305. The Department of Public Health says there were actually 2391 new cases. So what happens to the other 86? Some of them are reclassified as duplicate, so they get pulled out of the list. Some of them are classified as something else. Maybe they're classified as um, pneumonia or something else. I don't know. Uh, they don't uh, give us that detail. Part of that is uh, HIPAA, uh, but part of it is just uh, it doesn't work in their favor to give us that detail. But either way you count, uh, we are down over last week a, a significant number, and uh, we will take that. Uh, d being down 1260 is about a, oh, I'm going to call it, I should have done the math, uh, I'm going to call it about a 30% decline. So um, testing's down 28%. New cases are down 30%. Hard to say. Uh, let's look at the fatality data now. 55 deaths from COVID-19 were reported today. Uh, where does that stack? Well, it's still high for the run rate we were seeing even up to mid-July. Um, it is lower than what we saw at the peak uh, it's a hundred or it's half of what we saw last week, which was 105. So good news there, but bad news there. You know, I I saw and reacted to in a couple of places today somebody saying yes, but it's going down. Well, my take on that was it's still not as low as it was. It's not going down from the run rate we had. It's going down from a peak, and by the way, we never should have had that peak to begin with because we should have been doing more things preventively. But that is that is my take. Uh, you are kind of welcome to post yours if you think differently. Uh, new hospitalization reports were kind of uh, where they sit for a typical Wednesday. Uh, we are also seeing a third down from last week. Uh, active beds dropped 23, so we haven't seen that really go down a third, uh, but we have seen it go down some. Uh, 23 from yesterday is good, and uh, particularly when we look back at a few weeks ago, we, we were steadily increasing every day. Uh, there's no CCU update uh, available as of the time of this recording, so I won't uh, be able to update you on that, but you know we always kind of bring you back to that the next day. Uh, let's get into the school report. Uh, we had a big one from Lyons County. 18 infected in Lyons County uh, with 92 quarantined. So that's that's the big number. Uh, and what they're doing is they're posting an update 
uh, that has the run rate for two weeks. So uh, appreciate the uh, Redditor who posted that for us. Uh, that brings us to 25 cases. Uh, Langston Middle School is uh, had uh, 25 uh, students quarantine. Uh, Maddie Lively and Bullock had uh, two students and four teachers or four staff quarantined. And then this was interesting. Uh, in the article about Gordon Central High, uh, they are closing until uh, September uh, because of uh, five infected, but a high number. They didn't list the number. They just said a high number of people were impacted because of the uh, number of infections. So uh, net of the article was they couldn't get enough teachers in there to kind of keep classes going. Uh, the way they wanted to, so they will go to remote learning. So, only four interest in four incidents there, but a lot of uh, new color on things happening as we go along. All right, it's Wednesday, which means Wednesday we look at weekly data uh, and we look at the total pandemic view. So, here's the uh, cases and tests uh, and new hospitalizations view. Uh, we do see the positive test rate. It shows up a little bit better on here than on the other chart. We see that positive test rate starting to creep back up. You know, the goal is to get that down below 10, and I'll show you where we stand on that uh, in a few minutes, but uh, we're going the wrong way. Uh, case reports, uh, you see the, the big mountain that we uh, climbed, and we're still near the summit of it. Uh, and then uh, hospitalizations, roughly the same thing there. The other weekly update uh, page, let me get that turned off, there we go. Um, so uh, you're seeing the curve on hospital beds in use. Um, there are, I think I saw the number today, 15,000 hospital beds available in Georgia. So it's not unfair to say we have a lot of hospital capacity in general available. However, still thinking about the 3,000 people in hospital when we were at the peak and what we were hearing from nursing staffs and those kind of things, I'd be very interested to see how much more than that 3,000 uh, we could handle. Um, you're seeing the uh, in the death reports, you're seeing that trailing uh, seven-day average now be uh, way up in the 70s as uh, we had that big spike of reports last week on top of what had already been a busy few weeks. So that is uh, that is interesting to follow. And then uh, we are continue to be, as far as penetration to population, we continue to be uh, working our way towards uh, 30 cases per thousand residents. So <clears throat> uh, we'll be at 3 in 100 pretty soon. Uh, the other thing to, to mention on deaths, when you look at where we are today and the fact that we're still averaging 60 a day, uh, it'll probably be, I did the math today, <clears throat> if we have a big Friday like we have seen the last few weeks, it may be Friday. Uh, if, if we have a couple of smaller days and Saturday and Sunday start to get in the mix, it may be you know even Monday or Tuesday of next week, but... Within the next seven days, we will pass uh, 500, excuse me, 5,000 deaths in Georgia during the pandemic. So that's a, that's a rough number. And uh, I, I would imagine if I, were, um, if I were the governor and the governor's staff, part of why he's out there today is to try and get ahead of that number. Uh, before I switch to the last data point here. Uh, I just, I, I got a show. I got a visitor. This is my cat, Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. Hi. Okay, she's going to run away now. But I had to show I had a visitor. Okay, uh, last stat on the weekly. That's the federal scoreboard. Uh, the federal scoreboard says you want your new cases per 1,000 residents to be, or excuse me, per 100,000 residents to be below 100. Uh, we just dipped below 200. Yay, we're going down. Boo, we're not even close to getting to where we want to be. Uh, the percent positive rate, you want that to be under 10 to be out of the red. Uh, we are bouncing around about 11 or 12 at this point. 
Uh, so we're not really getting ourselves uh, where we need to be from that perspective. So uh, red and red today. Uh, there were a few articles today that said um, that Georgia has uh, the most... Georgia, Georgia was the place you were, I guess, most likely to catch COVID if you came to Georgia versus any other state. So we're rocking on on that as well. Uh, interesting, interesting to see. And I think that is it for today. Hope everybody enjoyed meeting Lucy. And I hope everybody has a good Wednesday afternoon. Uh, nice to be the uh, data dad. And uh, I will continue to give updates uh, as we go along. We'll see on Reddit and Facebook and all those other places where I post the numbers. And glad to have discussions. If you got ideas or comments or thoughts, please share them. And the Reddit links are down below. Have a great afternoon or a nice night, nice morning, whatever the case may be, stealing that Bill Tush line again. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.